Welcome back. Let's take a look at number 17 now, Ode to Joy. Now, Ode to Joy, if you notice, I have both the regular musical notation on the left-hand side as well as the notation with tab on the right-hand side. And there's a reason why I'm doing this. I want to show you that in the music of Ode to Joy, there's a pattern. Let's look at how many measures are on each line of this musical side or just the notation on the left-hand side. If you look in the first line, here's the first line, second line, third line, and fourth line of Ode to Joy. First of all, we notice that Ode to Joy is four lines long. It's quite a long song. So let's take a look at the form or the structure of it. Each line has one, two, three, four measures. If you look at it, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So each line of music in Ode to Joy, in the notation part of it on the left-hand side here, has four measures. Now, let's take a look at the structure or repetitive uh, themes or melody lines that it might have. Let's take a look. So you have E, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C, C, D, E, E, D, D. And you have the next line. E, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C, C, E. Wow. That's, or C, C, D, E. These two lines right here, measures one, two, and three, are exactly the same. The only difference is this note right here in this measure and those notes in that measure right there. Otherwise, these two here are exactly the same. This third line is the different line. Okay, It's like a bridge that connects the top and the bottom of the, of the piece. Now, let me get rid of all this highlight area. Let's take a look at this bottom line. Can you find one of the lines in the top two that this bottom line is just like? Well, if you look, if you remember, the first three measures are the same. And so the same is here in this bottom line. And if you take a look here, look at measure one, or I'm sorry, line one is EDD. Line two is DCC. Line four is DCC. So line two and line four if you look at them very carefully, you can see that they're actually the same. So line two and line four are the same notes. So that means if you can play line two, guess what? You can play line four. And if you can play line one, the first three measures, add just these couple of different notes right here, you can play three of the lines of this piece without any problems because it's so repetitive. The more difficult line that it is, is this one right here, line three. That one is a little bit more difficult, but once you get that down, this piece is quite easy to play. All right, and it's a lot of fun. So that's why I wanted to show you why I have it on the notation side here because of the four lines and how they are equal to each other basically. Now, if you look on the right-hand side of your music, it's the same one, Ode to Joy, right here. Because the music is written a little bit more compact, um, you're going to see that these are the first four measures right here. Then the second four go right here. The third four, this is the more difficult one. I don't want to psych you out, but it's a little bit more difficult. And then the last four right there. Okay, and so this song stops right there. So it begins here and it stops here. All right, so that is Ode to Joy in the right-hand side of the music here with both notation and tab as you go along. All right, so I wanted to show that to you before we start playing. Now, what is a good way to practice a piece that's longer? practice it in sections. Now, that's the reason why I told you about the sections. If you practice it with just, um, you know, a, a section of one, so four measures, and then second four measures, and then the last four measures, get those first three uh, sections good. Uh, measures one, two, three, four, measures five, six, seven, eight, and measures the last four, right? 13, 14, 15, 16, then all you have to do is worry about that third line in between and you got it made, okay? Also look for repetition of notes 
um, and rhythms in there as well. Notice that most of these notes are quarter notes all the way through, all the way through, all the way through, all the way through, except for one half note at the end, and that's it. Otherwise, it's all quarter notes. Let's go ahead and play. If you got your guitar tune, let's play together. Ready? One, two, ready, play. Okay, so right there, I'm going to show you, It's I'm going to erase all the marks here, right here. And on the music, it's right here. You're going from a D, which is on the B string, third fret. And then you're going to the G, which is also on the third fret of the E string. So now you don't want to do this. Here, it kind of throws a little note in there. See, that sounds kind of cool, but it's not very clean. There's two options you can do. One is you can go like this, and then guess what finger is right next to it? It's your pinky. So you can actually put your pinky on that third fret of the E string. That would be just fine. Or if you want to, you can play that D and then roll and catch that G. See that? So I'm just rolling it over. So I'm actually holding both down at the same time. Either way, it's up to you. And why didn't I use second finger? Well, because it brings me way at the top of my fret, so it doesn't seal very well. Plus, I got to get ready. I got to get ready for that first finger later there. So it's easier with the pinky. So the third finger pinky or third, and you can roll. Okay, let's finish out that last line. Uh, actually, you know what better idea? Start on the third line with me, ready? On your D, one, two, ready, play. So work on that one and get it really good. You will be tested for playing a test either on number 17, Ode to Joy, or number 18, Blues. So while you're playing these and practicing these, you can kind of think through your mind, hmm, which one would, you li would I like to play as a playing test for Mr. V? All right? It's a lot of fun. Uh, usually when my students get up to this song, they really enjoy it because it's a familiar song for most, and they have a good time. All right? So uh, work hard, and I will see you in the next video.